It's Thursday and last night the Greek Parliament ratified this tough third austerity package designed to save the economy and reopen the banks. And slowly but surely the mechanisms are grinding to make that happen. We've had the European Central Bank throw money into the Greek banking system. It could reopen as early as Monday. We've got the European Commission coming forward with a bridging loan. We've got the big bailout fund getting ready to disperse 50 billion to Greece. So good, it's not going to collapse and the lights will stay on in the Acropolis behind me. But at the end of that TV series, The Wire, there's always, in the last episode of every season, a, a bit where they montage scenes that are still going on. So the cops are still corrupt and the bad guys still control the city. If you did that here, and we do hope this is the last episode of the current crisis, you'd be listening to somebody like Dr. Generos. His hospital had its funding cut over the past six years from 19 million to 7 million. And his views on the impact of this austerity package are pretty striking. Uh, what is happening here is a crime against humanity. And somebody from Europe has to pay for that because many people are dead already, suicides in Greece because of this crisis. The crisis is making people sick. The people have been working for nothing. They are not paid for what they're doing. One is working for three. Uh, the Europeans have to understand, to feel what is happening here. Uh, they didn't understand that uh, many countries are coming next. Greece was a very good experimental pet, but Italy is going to follow. Uh, Portugal and Spain are going to follow, France is going to follow. So we have to stop that. We, I think we have to do something for Europe. This is not Europe I've been dream, dreaming of. I would like to say that I feel ashamed to be European. And it's reactions like that that are going to now shape Greek politics. Because Alexis Tsipras, his authority challenged by the way he's been handling this, still has a lot of support and so does that radical left party that runs the country, Syriza. But they are going to have to decide what to do. About 30 of their MPs voted against last night this deal and the attitudes at the top of the party divide into two. One attitude says, I voted for this but I don't like it and I don't think it will work but we'll give it a try. And another attitude says all of that but let's not give it so much of a try. And people's views about how long Greece can stay in the Euro are beginning to change, even at the very top of Syriza where people were quite entrenchedly pro-European for all their lives. That is for the next phase of the Greek crisis. I think we'll see elections in September, October, but even before then there are big hurdles to cross because this banking system of this country has been so shattered by three weeks of asphyxiation, as the government would call it, we really don't know what the long-term damage to the economy is going to be and whether any of the targets set by the lenders in this new tough bailout can ever be reached. That's it from me. Until the next Greek crisis. So the news is, it looks like no has won the Greek referendum by about 60%.